I'll try to reach out. You all gather up tightly within this alcove and try and prep as comfortable as can be a way that Imogen can slip into unconsciousness amongst the anxiety and concern. It takes some time, but through some concentration and the support of your friends and FCG's comforting presence. <laughs> Secret stash of melatonin. Yeah. It's got a few gummies just in case. <laughs> <laughs> you suddenly begin to slip. And it's here in the space, the familiar, warm, red, nothing surrounds you. There's no dust, there's no storm, it's just warmth and color. You cast your spell. As the gentle, spiritual spark of your friend, fresh cut grass, remains tethered to you here in this expanse, you kind of take in the space and it simultaneously feels like an endless void, but also the proximity of warm water hugging you. It's, it's an odd mixture of sensation and pressure. What would you like to do? I'm gonna search for my mom. Try to find her mind. The minute you imagine her in your mind's eye, you see a light appear. 100 feet, 10 miles, it's hard to tell any distance here. I go towards it. I try to pull it towards me. Like a rack focus. <laughs> Within but a split second, the light approaches, and there you see kind of balled up, knees to chest and arms around the side of your mother, her hair just kind of floating, her eyes closed. slightly from her somewhat balled up physicality, the kind of bright light of her spirit in this space, thrumming with a twinned energy to yours. As she looks up to you, her eyes open. Imogen. I'm here. You're as stubborn as your mother, you know that? <laughs> Seems the harder I try and push you away, the faster you run towards me, and maybe that's my fault. You make me want to help. I know you don't want to be here. It's almost over. It's almost over and you won't have to worry about any of this. Nobody will. I don't want to lose you. You don't have to lose me. I'm not going anywhere. I just... I didn't want this to be a burden thrust upon you. But I guess it found you anyway. 
Yeah, that's my naivete. I'm sorry. You said before you were trying to make a difference from the inside. And I am. In what way? He listens to me. You said yourself he's cunning. He is. How do you think... How do you know he's actually listening to you? Because I've seen his behavior change. I've pulled him from the edge a few times. And he's done some good after. I'm not saying he's good. But I'm worried what would happen if I wasn't here. If that makes any sense. But Mama, what if you were fighting him? What if you could stop him? For real? Do you even want to? I don't know. This is all so much bigger than either of us, but here we are. Can I reach out? Can I touch you? You see like her expression shift to like almost like a, a pained yearning and there's a hesitation and a worry before she reaches out. And as her hand touches yours, they pass through each other, but there's a warmth. There's a connection, there's a... There's a nostalgia. Are you doing this all for lewdness, or... Do you feel that pull? From the sleeping one. I'm not doing any of this for lewdness. I'm doing this because I didn't have a choice. But you did. Neither of us do. We're here. I tried to keep this from pulling you here, but you came anyway, and now we're both here in the center of it all. And it's going to happen. But I want you to be free of it. And once this is over, all of us will be, all of us who were not given a choice but be born into this red light and changed. You know how much I miss just taking care of those horses? You know how much I dream of just Walk in the fields and making breakfast at sunrise. All that was taken from me. And all I could think about was making sure I didn't take it from you. And I failed at that too, it seems. There's a fight coming. I don't want to fight you. I mentioned there are children here. I know. Like you, that rely on me. We just make sure he never wakes up. Put him to sleep. Get rid of lewdness. And keep him asleep. I... I don't know if that would just be delaying the inevitable. 
and being so close to this, I feel like I have, I feel like I can guide this the best way it can be. I'm surrounded by some very dangerous people, but they need me. I can feel it, and they listen to me. And I'm scared of what would happen if I wasn't here. What would happen to these children, these people? Think of the children that will die if you let him free. I don't know why you think people will die for this. Perdathos doesn't want to destroy the world. Just the gods. Who do you think those gods protect? That's a good question, isn't it? Tell me what you know. I'm here to convince you the other way, but if you have something that could bring me to your side, I need to know it. What is a god but a tyrant that's always been? They protect those who give themselves to them like any other king. I know change is hard, and I know that... I don't know, this is all so... And part of me just wants to run away from it all, but I know I can't, it's too late, and I... It's not too late. It's not too late. Sweet image. You know I love you, right? I love you and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. Maybe one day when you have a child of your own, you'll understand. Or not. Are you prepared to take my life? Keep that child from being born. Don't say that image. It could happen. We're on opposing sides here, Mom. Daddy still loves you. If I do this right, maybe we can all go home. No, Mama. You're lying to yourself. They're lying to you. Ludinus is an evil evil man and he's gone into your head history is filled with evil men a few the courage to stand up and try and stop them where i'm standing i don't think we're on the opposing sides like you think we are we just have a different myth that's all
hopefully see it in yourself to understand why I've done and given up all of this. Maybe it's your turn to run. When I wake up. She wakes up, I'm still in there. I'm like, where'd she go? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I oh, forgot you were in there too. Oh, oh God! Yeah. Hi. Can I touch you? Uh, yeah. Uh, I forgot my... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Locked overnight in the yeah. bank. Here's, uh, that was fucking, oh. damn, that was fire.